Hello, I'm Lars Martinson, and in this video I'd like to talk about my comic Tonoharu. Tonoharu is a graphic novel series that I started in late 2003. Originally, I estimated it'd be about 150 pages long, and I thought I'd be done with it in two, two and a half years tops. But I was wrong. Dead wrong. The project somehow tripled in length, and the artwork took longer to draw than even my most pessimistic estimates. So now, more than seven years later, I'm a little more than halfway done, having finished two of the planned four parts. This is a big part of the reason I decided to, uh... You know, now that I look at it, there are a lot of panels of people just walking around in silence. Uh, well, I say people, but it's pretty much just the same guy over and over again. Oh no, there, there's a different walking guy. So that's, uh, probably should have paid more attention when I was picking out the images for this slideshow. But that's okay, actually. Uh, because I've always been really passionate about uh, walking around. Um, so Tonoharu provided me with this golden opportunity to showcase pedestrian issues in a way that really shows how as no good we should start over. Tonoharu tells the story of Dan Wells, a young American college graduate who moves to rural Japan to work as an assistant English teacher. The series is, in the strictest sense, a work of fiction, but it has a firm basis in reality. From 2003 to 2006, I taught English in southern Japan. It was an incredible experience and one of the defining moments of my life. But whenever I'd try to discuss my life in Japan with friends and family back home, I just couldn't communicate the experience in an engaging way. People would sort of politely listen as I would blather on, but it wasn't long before their eyes would start to glaze over. Eventually, I concluded that words alone weren't going to cut it, and decided to take a stab at relating the story in the form of a comic. Tonoharu is the result of this effort. It is my attempt to illustrate, uh, literally I guess, what it's like to live in rural Japan as a foreigner for an extended period, with all the joys and frustrations that this nuanced experience encompasses. From the initial sense of isolation, to the connections that eventually form. From the myriad of sights, ranging from the commonplace, to the extraordinary. From the sitting around, watching TV, and drinking soda, to the more sitting around, and uh, again, just really poor image choices. Uh, uh, may as well just wrap it up here, I guess.